Welcome to the Prophet Dr. Rasep Singing the National Ministries on this July the 7th, 2024. We're coming from the Red Stick, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where there is power in the Holy Spirit. I'm yours truly, Reverend Pastor Prophet Dr. Ralph Sepp Sr. And this is Dr. Ralph Sepp Sr. in the National Ministries. Like always, I'm accompanied by the great and wonderful Lady Catherine Sepp. And we come to bring you the spiritual package, power, and strength. Hey, we're going to start this thing off with a power prayer, and then we get directly into this powerful word that we have for you today. In the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth, I pray right now for power, for strength, guidance, and let him guide our footsteps to bring this word that it envelops and touches someone's soul. Hey, we're going to go ahead and get directly into the message. And like always, we're going to go ahead and turn it over to Lady Catherine Sepp. Today's message is the worst words that any person can ever hear. My Christian brothers and sisters, the most dreadful words that any person can ever hear. In Matthew, the seventh chapter, Jesus Christ said, Depart from me, I never knew you. You know, men and women of God, that is the worst set of words that can possibly be said to anyone. That means total outer darkness. That means total separation from the love of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, there are several ways that these words can come to you in terms of judgment if you never had a spiritual relationship with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Do you know him? Do you really know him? Not just to acknowledge his omnipresence and all powerfulness. Do you really know him? That means having a personal relationship with him, knowing him day in and day out, consulting him, walking with him, and allowing him to direct your footsteps. Now, far too many believers, they don't understand the importance of having a personal relationship and calling him your personal Lord and Savior. A lot of people will be confused because they believe they're going to be saved, but Jesus Christ is going to say the daunting words, depart from me, I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. Now, the way for you to establish an important, powerful relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is to follow his example. Love everyone. Obey his commandments as much as you can. Because he said in his word, if you love me, then you will obey me men and women of God, so it is very, very essential that you have a relationship with him. Now, there are a set of words that everyone will say, I don't care what religion you are, I don't care whether you believe God or not, whether you're atheist. Jesus Christ is Lord. The Bible says there's going to come where everyone is going to acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Now, whether you're in heaven, you will acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord. Whether you're on earth, you will acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord. Whether you're under the earth, you will acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord. So, establishing a personal relationship with him, praying to him, getting to know him, trying your best to be good to everyone, try to treat everybody right, try to live a sin-free life, ask for forgiveness, men and women of God, prayers and supplications, getting to know him, worship and fellowship. These are all essential parts of getting to know him on a personal basis. Not just acknowledging who he is, but I mean to know him. 
So therefore, in the seventh chapter of Matthew, he says that, Depart from me, I never knew you. That's during judgment time. The words have been said to a lot of people already. Depart from me, I never knew you, you workers of iniquity. So, if you take anything from this powerful message that we have today, is to get to know him. Now, the first thing to get to know him, men and women of God, you have to choose him as your personal Lord and Savior. You have to do it while the blood is still matriculating through your body. You have to do it now. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. It is the most important set of words and the most important relationship that anyone can have. Higher and greater than all other relationships. I want you to repeat after me. Dear Father, I know I am a sinner and I know that my sins are ever before me. On this day, I acknowledge my imperfections, that I am a sinner. On this day, I acknowledge that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the only begotten Son of God. And you sent him from heaven to remove all the sins of the world. On this day, I choose him as my personal Lord and Savior. Give me a personal relationship with you. And in a dying hour, may heaven be my home. Now, my Christian brothers and sisters, if you said those glorious words, then in a dying hour, you will be saved. You have become a part of God's wonderful extended family. Get you a Bible and get you some scriptures and pray to Jesus Christ daily for guidance and he will direct your path for the steps of a good man are definitely ordered by the Lord. We're going to wrap up right there. Look, this is Dr. Rassip singing in the National Ministries. Hey, we want you to go and check us out on our YouTube channel where we have a lot of powerful videos, a lot of salutation, and materials that will spiritually uplift your soul. Also check us out on our Patreon channel where we have a lot of powerful daily devotionals and salutations and a little something special for everyone. Check us out on Xena.fm, our 24-hour Christian radio broadcast and you can get your praise on you can go over there there's powerful christian music there's salutations lady catherine sepp has her show over there ask lady catherine it's a little something for everybody hey we love you here dr ralph sepp senior international ministries and like always i am great you are great Lady Catherine Sepp is great, especially if you have a wonderful and powerful relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And for my beautiful and wonderful co-host, Lady Catherine Sepp, I am Reverend Dr. Pastor Prophet Ralph Sepp Sr. Have a blessed and prosperous Sunday. <laughs>